Dr. Keith Paver joins me now to chat about his recent trip to India to help immunise against polio. Many thanks for joining us. Thank you. How did this trip come around? Um, polio eradication has been a campaign of Rotary for 24 years now, and every Rotarian is involved in raising money. We've raised $800 million so far for the global campaign. But there's a lot of volunteer work goes on and among Indians and people doing helping with the campaign. And so a local Rotarian here who has business in India has arranged two or three trips out there, to small trips, and this year he said, well, why don't we take a bigger team from across Britain and Ireland? So I jumped to the, the chance to go now that I've retired from the day job. <laughs> so what is the status of, of, of polio in India? There, are, there have been 650 cases this year so far, all of them in two of the states, Uttar Pradesh, which is the state that includes Delhi and Agra, and in Bihar, which is a little bit further east. And they're concentrated in, in a certain number of districts. They're not spread throughout India, just in those two states. And is, is this you here, sir? Just, uh, no, somebody that's, else? That's, that's no. somebody else. Yeah. That's uh, the GP we took with us who... Uh, had and, a go at this. Yeah, and is it, is it still on... Because I remember having it on a sugar lump. Yes, they still use... They don't use the sugar lump, they just drop it into the mouth. It doesn't taste very nice, but yeah. um, we're still using that in India because that will replace the wild-type virus with the vaccine strain. So we're, the aim is to eradicate the wild-type virus as the first stage of the campaign. And so we've moved on from that here in the UK, haven't we? So where, what's our status of polio in the UK? We now have no, had no polio for about 15 or 16 years and in 2004 we switched to using the inactivated vaccine that's a killed vaccine which was the first vaccine to be developed so that we're now in the process of getting rid of the vaccine strain of virus which people excrete when they're given the oral polio we're getting rid of that so that we should have no polio at all in the UK of any form probably by now and how long will it be in places like India until It'll they... It'll be about it. ten years after we've got rid of the last case of wild-type virus before they switch to the same kind of vaccination schedule that we have. And how... What are the symptoms of polio and are they life-threatening? Right, yes. The symptoms of polio, only in about one in... perhaps one in 200 cases, is a form of paralysis where you get wastage of muscles and destruction of motor neurons. When that is the motor neurons that deal with breathing, then that's when the disease becomes life-threatening. And if you go back to the 1950s, when we had huge numbers of cases, you remember, will remember, some people remember, the pictures of people in iron lungs who are, they assist their breathing to get them over the acute phase of the illness. We now have gone past that, although there are many people who still use ventilators and, and force ventilation because they will always have some weakness in the muscles of their chest. But in India, we are seeing uh, about, as I said this year, 650 cases of paralysis. Mainly what you see in the people who've had polio, we see lots of people with wasted limbs and, and who can't walk and who need calipers and, and so on. And would you go back to India or to other places to help again? Well, the other three countries where polio is, is present are Afghanistan and Pakistan, which is a little more problematical yeah. because of the situation, and Nigeria. And some people would like to go to Nigeria to work there. But me... I fell in love with India, not just with, and, and there are many friends I've made in India who are doing lots of other work as well, and I would love to go back and join them. They're doing this polio campaign six times a year, so, and, and what they needed was us to go to encourage them and to keep them going, and to, you know, they, they've been they're getting a little fatigued, I suppose, and our presence, very visible presence, wearing our yellow shirts and silly hats and so on, meant that they felt that somebody was caring about what they were doing and encourages them to continue and Yes, I'd like to go back and do it again. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks very much. Thank you.